Okay, so this is example two. Now, in my last video, we did systems of equations. And what we learned was if we have an equation where the highest exponent is two, that is called quadratic. So this is going to be the quadratic equation. And that's only because the highest exponent is two. Now, if you look at the one below it, notice that the highest exponent is not two, but one. This is x to the one power. Now, this is gonna be called a linear equation, linear. So what's gonna happen with these two equations is, if you graph them, the quadratic equation is going to give you a U-shape, which is also known as a parabola. And if you graph the linear equation, you're gonna get a line. You're just gonna get a line, okay? So what we can do is we can find out the solutions to the system by setting the y's equal to each other. Now, what I always do is I put the quadratic equation on the left side and I put the linear equation on the right side. So I'm basically gonna get this. I'm gonna take the x squared plus seven x plus three and I'm going to put that on the left side and then on the right side, I'm gonna have the x minus five right here. So x minus five goes on the right side. Okay, so that's how you set it up. And now what you wanna do is you wanna get everything to the left side. So what I wanna do is I wanna get this x over to the left side and I also wanna get this negative five over to the left side. And we can do that by subtracting the x and adding the five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to subtract x from both sides. Make sure you do this to both sides. And then the negative five, I can add that to both sides. So make sure you're adding five to both sides. And then I draw my line. Okay, so now what this is gonna do is, on the right side, everything is gonna start to cancel out. So the x and the negative x are gonna cancel out and the negative five and the positive five are also gonna cancel out. So those are gone. So now the only thing that's left on the right side is gonna be zero because there's nothing left on this side. Okay, so heading over to the left side now, what happens when we add these two lines together? Well, the x squared isn't really adding to anything, so we just bring that down the way it is. So I'm bringing down the x squared and I have 7x minus x, which is 6x. So I'm gonna have 6x, and the numbers are gonna add up to give me eight. Three plus five is gonna give me eight. So now everything is on the left side and nothing is on the right side. So I basically have x squared plus 6x plus eight is gonna give me zero. So now I'm in a good place to factor the left side. Now to factor something like this, I'm gonna to have to find two numbers that multiply to eight, multiply to eight, but also they have to add up to six, add up to six. So what two numbers will multiply to eight? Uh, four times two, they'll also add up to six. So I can factor this as x plus four and x plus two but the right side is still equal to zero. Nothing's happened to the right side. Okay, so now I have two different factors. My first factor is gonna be the x plus four, and the second factor is gonna be the x plus two. So now I'm gonna get two different equations. I'm gonna get x plus four is equal to zero. That's just taking this and setting it equal to zero. And then I'm gonna have x plus two equals zero. And that's just taking the x plus two right here, setting it equal to zero. Okay, so now for my two different equations, I wanna get x by itself on the left side, so I gotta get rid of the plus four by subtracting four from both sides. So I'm gonna subtract four from both sides. What happens? I get x equals negative four. For the x plus two, I need to subtract two from both sides. And I get what? X equals zero minus two. That's gonna give me negative two. 
So now I know what my x values are. My x values are going to be negative 4, so I put that in here, leave a little space, and I have a negative 2, leave a little space for the y value because the x's always go first and the y's always go second. So now, to figure out the y value, we have to substitute back into whichever equation you want to start off with. So you can choose the top equation right here, or you can choose the bottom equation. It doesn't really matter, because at the end of the day, you're going to get the same answers. So I always plug back into the easiest one. That seems to be the y equals x minus 5 right here. So I'm going to choose the equation on the bottom. So I know that the bottom equation was y equals x minus 5. And I'm only just restating it. y equals x minus 5. So now I can plug in the x value. I know that the x value is negative 4. So I can replace this x with a negative 4 and see what happens. Negative 4 minus 5, that's going to give me negative 9. So now I know that my y value is going to be negative 9, and that's going to team up with the negative 4 right here. So in the y space, I'm going to put negative 9 up here. Now for this one, I know that x is negative 2. So I'm going to plug in negative 2 for x and see what happens. So I get negative 2 minus 5. That is negative 7. So now I know that my y value for that x value is negative 7. And I just plug it back in. Okay, so now I've got my two ordered pairs. These are going to be my answers. And if I want to check them, I can check them by graphing. Okay, so like I was telling you before, the top equation is going to be quadratic. The bottom equation is going to be linear. So when you graph it, you're going to have a u-shape that's going to show up that's your quadratic, and then you're going to have a line that goes through it. That's going to be your linear equation. Now the line is going to cross through this U shape uh, just twice, right? Right here and right here. Now the places where they cross, those are going to be the points. So one of these is going to be the negative 4, negative 9, whichever, and the other one is going to be the negative 2, negative 7. So that's how you solve a system of equations, and I hope that helps.